I said I got my masters. I finally graduated guys. So somebody had commented something and they were like, girl, I've gone through all your videos since your BBL and you haven't posted your body. Show your body. Anything he can do to make my life easier, he will do. He's so sweet. He spoils me. He gets it, girls. So yeah, I'm just really excited about the future. I'm excited about everything. <laughs> I'm just really happy right now. If you're new to my channel, I make beauty, lifestyle, and vlog type of videos. So if you're into videos like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure that you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have the links in the description box down below. For so for today's video, I decided to make a life update just so you guys can know what's been going on with me. I feel like I made a life update video months ago and so much has happened since then. The big one being, guys, that I got my master's. I finally graduated, guys. So I got my master's degree in cybersecurity. I got it in December. December. and literally I wanted to vlog for you guys but that day was so freaking hectic when I tell you I felt like everybody was trying to sabotage me that day like I was damn near late to graduation like my hairstylist my nails just nothing was coming out how I wanted it to be so I was like yeah I cannot film I need to fix everything and then the very next day I hopped on a flight and went to Nigeria and I was gone for like three or four weeks so yeah we are long 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 overdue just for a sit down video I haven't done one in so long I haven't talked to you guys in so long I love you guys so much so I definitely want to talk to you guys so yeah I got my master's degree and all glory to God because I could not have done that without him guys that time was so stressful for me like I really needed God's guidance and I was always praying because at times I was like why am I even doing this like this is hard I don't want to do it anymore I wanted to give up but I really like just leaned on God and of course the support of my family and friends are like girl just do it like do it you could do it so I did it guys and I'm so proud of myself I'm so 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 happy so excited so a lot of you guys asked me how I got into cybersecurity, and to be quite honest with you it just kind of happened like I don't even know I know God is really has his hands over my life because it really just happened so I graduated undergrad with my bachelor's degree in 2018 my undergraduate degree was a business degree in managerial sciences so it is very broad so I really just did not know <laughs> where I wanted to go with my life I wasn't really sure what my career goals were so I was really just going with the flow I was making YouTube videos I was working on my mom's daycare center and that's really all I was doing until one day I was like you know what maybe I'll go to law school like, so I started studying for the LSAT I actually even took the freaking LSAT and when I tell y'all honey I bombed the LSAT I failed that test so bad I was like this is not it and then on top of that that week of me taking the LSAT I was meeting so many lawyers talking to so many lawyers and I was just not feeling it like you know when you talk to somebody and you can just tell they hate their job they're going with the flow they're really not interested in it that's kind of how I felt when I was talking to all the lawyers like I was not feeling the passion um, I was just like whatever um, I don't really know what to do now but then I ran into one of my old friends and she was telling me how she was doing this uh, technology program at this university and I was like oh my gosh that sounds interesting so she told me to check it out and I went ahead and I went home did my research I started researching tech and just seeing that like this is a growing industry and in this industry you can make a ton of money and you know me I'm very very I like nice things baby like I am very into like luxury and not even just like designer but like going on nice dinners going on vacations and that type of stuff costs it costs the big bucks <laughs> so I was like okay well let me just go ahead and just see what it's talking about I did my research and I was like you know I'm gonna enroll I told my mom I enrolled and I just started that's one thing with school or anything that you want to do just start no matter what y'all just start because you can sit here and be like, oh my god, I don't want to do that program. It's going to take me two, three years. But then you turn around and two, three years has gone by and you're still in the same place that you were in before. So just start. Just start and finish. Of course, it's not going to be easy, but I feel like anything worth having will not be easy. And sometimes you do need those periods of going hard, putting myself first. This is something, a goal of mine, and I'm going to knock it out the park. So that's how I kept trying to look at it like, oh my gosh, like um, one day you'll be done and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did it. And that's where I am at now. Like, I'm so freaking happy. So yeah, I'm really happy with the decision that I made to go back and get my master's degree in cybersecurity. I don't know how I ended up focusing on cybersecurity, but I just did. And when I tell you guys, I ended up falling in love with it. It is so 
interesting like the things you can do man like the things these hackers and scammers could do as I started learning more and more guys I started getting so interested in cybersecurity especially because like a lot of people I know used to scam and I used to just see it firsthand I never did it now before y'all call the police on me I never did it okay 911 officer right there Come on in, fellas. So just seeing how you would be able to stop some kind of like hacking or scamming from a cybersecurity point of view was really, really interesting. Just learning so much, y'all, from credit card fraud to child, da da da, to um, hacking to just everything. Like there's so much crime on the internet. It's crazy. Like it's crazy. I didn't, I didn't really know how deep it went until I took the course. But I've learned so much, and I cannot wait to implement all the things that I've been learning so you know we're trying to get a job honey and I do want to say and of course you guys know that I love you dearly but this is not about to turn into a tech channel like guys I just want to go and get my feet wet I'm still learning so I'm in no position at all to try and teach anyone anything I'm not saying I'm not going to talk about things that are going on in my life because of course this is a big part of my life now once I do get a job it's going to be a very big part of my life and of course I want to share that with you guys but for now like I just need to get my feet wet. I need to know what's going on. I feel like a baby in this whole industry. And yeah, so I'm new to this. Of course, feel free to DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. I'll try to help you as best as I can. But this is not about to be a whole tech channel. Like, we still, we got our own little vibe over here, okay? <laughs> like, working corporate America is going to be so different. But I'm excited because, you know, everything is work from home. And I do feel, I'm not going to say COVID was a good thing ever, but I do like that all this opportunity to work from home came out of COVID because like baby I could not sit in an office that was like my biggest fear I'm not the type of person who can sit in a cubicle for eight hours like I would lose my mind so like I'm really happy that I, I'm able in this industry especially tech to work from home so yeah I'm just really excited about the future I'm excited about everything <laughs> I'm just really happy right now but yeah let's move on um, of course, we're going to talk about the BBL because I know that's what you girlies want to know about. And, you know, I don't blame y'all. Sometimes I get a little annoyed um, because somebody had commented something and they were like, girl, I've gone through all your videos since your BBL and you haven't posted your body. Show your body. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, yo, you have to chill. This is not a BBL channel. Like, of course, I'm going to share things with you guys. I'm going to give you information. I feel like I have given so much information on this BBL and I still am going to do like a final um, year post-op update. But like, guys, this is not a BBL channel. OK, um, but I will talk about my body. Like, of course, like I get it. If you want to see my body, make sure you go on my Instagram. I take a lot of pictures showing it off. I, I don't know. I'm not going to stand in front of the camera and be like, in every freaking video it just doesn't make sense to me but yeah guys for those of you guys who are wondering the bbl is bbling and i love it so to keep it real with you guys i have gained 10 pounds since my bbl don't come for me i get it like i know you spent all that money why would you mess it up da, 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 da. this is the thing with the girls at bbl i think it's a quick fix and da, da. like damn i am a human okay like i get it okay my birthday had me eating crazy my birthday's in november then the freaking holidays, Thanksgiving, then uh, Christmas, and then I was like out the country having a good time. I was not worried about what I was eating, y'all. I put on 10 pounds real thick, um, <laughs> but you can't actually really see it on me. I see it on me, and that's what's really bothering me. Like Everybody thinks I look fine, except my mom. My mom is always going to tell me the truth. Um, you got to watch out for these niggas because your man is not going to tell you when you're gaining weight, but... Your mom will tell you. So uh, my mom told me, like, you need to get right. And I was like, I know I need to get right. Like, I feel like my face is just really fat. My body, though, looks good. I've noticed with my BBL, um, when I gain weight, it really does, like, settle in all the right places. It's not like I'm going to get a gut or anything like I would in the past. Now I just get bigger. Like, my ass is bigger. My hips are bigger. My waist is not as snatched as it used to be. But it's still snatched. So, yeah. I like that about the whole BBL thing. But I will say I am happy that my doctor didn't go too crazy giving me a lot of butt. Because I just thought to myself, like, imagine if I gained this weight and he gave me a lot of ass. Like, I would be all ass right now. Like, it's just perfect. Which is why I'm, like, torn if I want to lose the weight or not. Because my face is a little fat right now. But my ass is, like, perfect. God, that booty is perfect. Like, I love 
how my butt looks right now like it's just perfect so I'm like scared if I lose weight it's gonna get smaller because when you lose weight you lose weight everywhere you can't like spot lose weight so I have lost three pounds um, of the 10 that I gained and I'm trying to be super healthy right now right now I'm eating so clean drinking a lot of natural drinks that are really aiding in the weight loss so if you guys want more like weight loss content let me know because baby these pounds are really dropping and I'm very very proud of myself because at one point I don't even know like I was looking real thick I was like yo no 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 we gotta get it together get it under control so yeah that's what I'm doing in the process right now and I'm doing really really well I'm really disciplined so yeah and I have real body goals guys I really really want to look like um, 50 Cent's girlfriend, I think her name is like Cuban Link on Instagram, she's 5'9 like me all and that girl is so toned, like she looks so good, that's like my body goal, I just want to be super toned, like that's all I want right now, so I'm really working to tone up my body in the gym. Uh, what else can I say about the BBL? I will say, since I've had my body done and gone out, and don't, I don't want anyone to take offense to this and I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to promote it, but this is just honestly my truth. And if I can't share my truth, then why are y'all watching this? So, one thing about me is, like, my body was never bad before. You guys have seen. So, I've always had pretty privilege. Um, because, you know, I'm cute. It's true. I'm cute. I'm a cute girl. Um, I've always had pretty privilege. But since I got my body done, I just feel like people are a lot nicer. Um, I don't necessarily feel over-sexualized by men or anything like that. Maybe because my butt isn't so big. Like, if you see me, it's more of, oh, she just has a nice body. Like, she looks like she works out. So, that's kind of, like, what it is. But, personally, I don't feel over-sexualized by men. But I do, I will say pretty privilege is through the roof, sis. Like, it's through the roof. Like, and I love it here. I'm not gonna lie to you. But that's not me promoting, like, go get your body done. So, you'll have pretty privilege. It's just my truth. Like, I have to share my truth with you guys. So that's what I've noticed since I got my body done. So that's all for the BBL. Of course, I want to tell you guys so much more that I've been going through, but I'm going to save that for my one-year post-op video so I can be super, super informative and help all you girlies. I love, love, love that you guys are enjoying the BBL content and that is helping you guys because I do remember when I was going through the process of, like, going through my surgery, like, I was stressed. I didn't know what to get. I didn't know what to do. So I'm glad I can help you guys. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Alright guys, so now let's get into my love life because I am talking to someone very special right now and I'm just like, you know, really happy in the relationships department, the love life, whatever, honestly. Last time I did a live update, I was telling you guys how I was like dealing with my ex again and how I kind of felt like, um, I don't know, in my head I kind of felt like, okay, he's the best thing I've ever had. I won't be able to top that. That's kind of how I felt, which is really stupid because there's literally like 6 billion people on the planet. So I don't know why I thought like that. Um, but just me being open to this relationship, I'm just seeing like... You, it's like I'm just seeing that I took in that last relationship that I had before I took a lot of bad with the good and it can really just be good y'all like you don't have to have bad and have good things can just be good so this is someone that I knew from my past we kind of just knew of each other we didn't really know each other like that and we kind of rekindled and he just reached out to me one day and we went on a date and from there we just started like talking and ever since then everything has been really really good like, one thing I will say is, like, he treats me so, so well. Like, really treats me like a princess. I don't open doors. Like, anything he can do to make my life easier, he will do. Um, he's so sweet. Um, he spoils me. He gets it, girls. Because, you know, I like nice things. I said that earlier. He gets it. He's, like, very good with gifts. I will say that. Because my love language is gifts. And let me just say something. Never be afraid to tell a man that your love language is gifts if your love language is really gifts. Because if it's gifts, like, a lot of people are like, oh, gifts is so materialistic. No, it's not. If that's something that makes you happy, let them know so they know what they're dealing with. Like, I try and let men know, oh, I like nice things from the jump. Because you're not going to sit here and lack in something that I find important of course I like the other love languages but I do like gifts I like gifts a lot and also give gifts too but yeah y'all like he does so good with the gifts I remember when I came back from Nigeria um and I was so sick y'all I don't even get sick but I was so sick in Nigeria and also when I came home I was so sick for like a week so like I hadn't seen him for like almost a month and he was like look I'm gonna just drop off your Christmas gift because you're sick da -da -da -da. so like, he dropped it off in my house I'm gonna show you guys on this screen because it was so cute. It made me so happy. Um, he got me a YSL bag and then like some other goodies like YSL perfume and little things. And I was just like, oh, flowers. Like he brought it to my house. That's just what made it so special. Just little things like that. Because he could have been like, okay, well, I'm gonna just see you when you're not sick anymore. Like he made sure to bring it to my house. So it was really, really nice. Um, 
And then, um, <laughs> y'all, I'll just be cheesing because he really does the most, even for Valentine's Day, guys. So we just went to Vegas again for Valentine's Day. Don't ask me why we always go to Vegas. I just, I had never really been. And the first time we went for my birthday, it was so rushed because my birthday literally is like around Thanksgiving. So we really didn't stay that long. And we also didn't really do too much, which is why I'm mad because I should have vlogged, um, Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day in Vegas we did so much and I was just like ugh because I was like you know what I don't want to vlog like I just want to enjoy the moment and I was like damn I should have vlogged because the girlies would have loved the content like it was it was a great time so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me and my day-to-day -day life because I posted a lot on my story and a lot of people told me they enjoyed my story so I really really wish that I vlog but anyway I'm rambling guys what he did for Valentine's Day I was I was so shocked like I was not expecting it we went out to dinner and then when we came back from dinner the room was decorated with balloons and rose petals and um a heart shape with uh, a louis vuitton box there was some shoes in the box he even had my name xoxo chioma and i was just like like guys i literally wanted to cry like it was just it's just the the it's not even the fact that he's buying me gifts and doing these things it's just the thought because like that's not something that you plan like a day before even a week before like that's something you take your time to plan as far as valentine's day too when they're all booked up and busy i was just like yo like you did your big one like you did your big one like i just feel really really loved and ooh, not i'm gonna cry guys i'm not about to cry i don't know why my voice like wavered like that but I do feel really loved and I am really happy but for once in my life though I just feel like I'm in the place where I'm not really sure if I'm ready to 100% commit to a relationship like it just it's a lot of work and where I am I'm so tunnel vision on my goals guys I just really want to focus on myself and accomplishing all my goals but you know when you're in a relationship it's no longer just you it's the other person as well so I'm just not really sure what I want like I'm really cool with us talking for right now for those of you guys who don't know talking is kind of when you're in a relationship but you're not in a relationship yes our generation bar is in hell but that's basically what we're doing right now because I'm not sure if I'm ready for that girlfriend label which sounds really stupid because it's like I basically am a girlfriend but no because I just want to focus on me like I, I don't know if I'm ready to be you know in a relationship so yeah like one thing that I've learned about myself and I'm actually starting to really not like about myself is how quickly I fall in love like I fall into that honeymoon stage so hard so quick and then quickly I start to realize like I get the ick and I start to realize like oh like I can't stand this person you know so I'm really just trying not to be all up in the honeymoon stage and confuse like you know feelings of like lust I guess and like for love which I do a lot so I just want to take my time in the past I used to be like oh I'm gonna be married by 25 I'm gonna have a baby on the way and then I hit 25 and now I'm freaking 26 when will you marry when will you marry will it be this year or next year will you be single forever Jesus when will you marry when will you marry Jehovah and I'm just realizing like I have to stop putting an age on and a timeline on things like you really just have to run your own race do your own thing of course of course I want to be married and of course I am dating intentionally like I'm not just out here dating anybody like I have to see a future with you or I won't date you at all um but I'm really over that whole like getting married like right now like I don't want to rush into something just because like oh I want to be married and then it turns out to be awful so I'm very content with just doing me honey I'm doing me right now um we're seeing where things are going but I am like happy with like where I am right now so yeah guys I love it here you know it's really sweet and fun and <laughs> we're always going on little adventures and you know I'm a Sagittarius so you know my little Sagittarius heart is so happy like, you know just putting all my effort and time into getting a job um, YouTube of course because we are slacking and you know working out I just really want to focus on me and elevate and just go to these new levels that I know I'm accomplished honestly God's plan is better than my plan I don't want to sit here and try and go crazy trying to control my life when at the end of the day God has got this I know anything that he has for me is better than what I can imagine for myself and I say that a lot because it is so true guys like it is so true so this is the end of my life update video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys really enjoyed this I love sharing things with you guys I love talking to you guys and I really just love you guys thank you for your constant support so yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day and a great life.